I know a lot of people are probably thinking at the moment, wow, have the lock had a new presenter? Well, no way to I've gone for my annual haircut. I have it cut, uh, you know, once a year. But uh, this video was actually suggested by a viewer. So if you've got anything you'd like to see the lock tackle, uh, post it in the comments below. And maybe in four short years, you'll be seeing the very video that you suggested, if you're lucky. Anybody who's watched some of these videos will know that my fashion taste is uh, you can't fault it in any way whatsoever. And this is 100% true. Can you believe this? I've actually been stopped in the street. People have said to me, that's a really cool t-shirt. Where did you get it from? And as we'll see when we look through my t-shirts, it's usually either from a comic book shop or it's free with a DVD. And amazingly, the first one isn't either of those things. It's a t-shirt from my favorite American football team, the Detroit Lions. It's from Burton. Is that shop still going? I'm not sure. One thing about that shop I always think is funny. Oh, not funny, irritating more than anything. It's one of those shops that people just randomly put an S on there. Even though the shop's called Burton, everybody calls it Burton's. And Detroit's best player is probably Barry Sanders. And also, fun fact, the only reason I support the Detroit Lions is because it's the team that Axel Foley supports in the Beverly Hills Cop film series. It's one of my favourite shirts that I've literally worn till it's falling apart. There's coming down holes at the back there. But it's a tour t-shirt for Skid Row. And how many shirts can you say this about? It's got the actual date that I brought the shirt on. The 26th of August, 1995. To Donington Park, 14 pound. But like Jason News said when he said he brought a Metallica t-shirt for $14 and wore it till it fell apart. Basically done the exact same thing with that Skid Row t-shirt. Can you believe that shirt is older than my base t-shirt? That's shocking, isn't it? And speaking of which, what's the oldest item of clothing that you own? It's a Karate Kid t-shirt. Especially cool to wear it at the moment because YouTube are doing a Cobra Kai TV series. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Cobra Kai never dies. Love this t-shirt, it's a uh, Rambo. And uh, just as the as it's common knowledge, the numbering system for the Rambo films is really confusing. It's got a picture of a uh, Rambo 3 on there. So that just makes it uh, all the more confusing there. Have you ever thought about it? The first film's called First Blood. The second film is called First Blood Part 2. The, se the third film is called Rambo 3. The fourth film is called Rambo. And the new film is called Rambo 5 Last Blood. You couldn't make it up, could you? This is uh, one of my favourite shirts for numerous reasons. It's a t-shirt, one of my favourite films. I've had it for years. This t-shirt was black, not grey when I very first brought it. It's also good wearing it because it freaks out the squares when you walk in the supermarkets. Toby Hooper. That's one for you. How would you pronounce his name? Is it Tobe or Toby? Godzilla had this brought for me uh, for a present a few years ago. Went into Godzilla for years and years and years. I think this was from HMV. I'm just showing I'm keeping the tradition going. Got the new Toll film with Godzilla on it. The new film should be good. Oh, talk about tour t shirts. This is a great shirt. This is from the uh, first John Carpenter tour. And it was a 2016 tour t-shirt. Some of the dates go to 2017. And this is one thing, I've thought about this a few times over the years, but when like really good things just creep in and you don't think about it. If you'd said to me when I was about 20, 25, there'd be a time when you've been in the same room as John Carpenter more than once. I think my head would have flown off my shoulders. Got this t-shirt, it was free with a Blu-ray DVD. It's a family guy, it's a trap. Uh, probably my favorite out of the family guy Star Wars parodies, but always a good time when you can uh, get a t-shirt, you can buy a DVD, so you've got to spend watching it. T-shirt for keep you warm, there's nothing to worry about there, is it? 
trying to think what the original title was for for it's a trap and i remember thinking it was a better title but we'll have to come back to that later see if it just pops in there and this is literally one of my favorite t-shirts of all time it's a bit of a double whammy my favorite color is green it's also the first t-shirt I ever saw that said 1974 on it, the year I was born. And uh, end on a bit of a high note here. This is uh, I might be one of the few people in the world that's actually got this t-shirt. It's a promotional t-shirt for the film Anaconda. When there was a video shop down the road, a uh, guy said uh, he had loads of promotional material and he said, uh, help yourself to whatever catches your eye and uh, one of the things was an anaconda t-shirt so um, yeah, I'd like to see what people think about those t-shirts if anybody else has got similar ones but uh, let's see what comment leave reaction is going on today dun 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 comment leave dun 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 and uh, thinking about it that's better gadget he'd have been dead years ago wouldn't he if it weren't for penny and brain helping him out Let's get the first comments. This one's from MJ Jones. What load of shit. Who wants to watch some shit talk about Death Wish? What a loser. <laughs> if you're friends of his, he needs help fast. So much for Ken the community. Well, have you know, Ken the community, I've been saying, who is this person just walking around constantly talking about Death Wish? And <laughs> It's a bit awkward, but I think that was me, but uh, uh, thanks anyway. Here's comment number deuce. This one's for me, Neil Forbes. Gave a thumbs down. This fellow hasn't done his research. I've already picked him on pub in two areas. Not one, but not one, but two reels, co-centric in the Phillips system. Beta launched in 1972, not 1975. Oh, I think that's off the Dead Formats video. And what's weird about that video, I just suggested, oh, has this Philips video got one reel or two reels? I want to actually making a statement. I keep getting picked up on it all the time. And I'm going to believe when Beta Max was released, some random guy on the internet. Or Google. Me feeling good. Two got the tip on wood. But uh, there you go. And as Nicky Campbell would say, let's have one more spin of that wheel. Or comment lever. This one's from Odd Pod. Oh, I've been watching your videos. Nice, uh, nice channel. Nice to see so many VHS tapes. I recently did a vid on VHS Nostalgia. Great vid. Oh, uh, talk about your channel. One video I really liked of yours was one you did about um, Jingle All The Way when you were phoning different YouTubers and they were asking about your puppets instead of yourself. That was a really nice little touch. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but yeah, this uh, channel, he's got loads of puppets on there, which is always good. Uh, you never have too many puppets, as Jim Benson once said. But uh, as always, Keep it locked. Thanks for watching The Legends of Cherry Hill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing.